And we're going to move on to the next startup, which are, please um, come on stage. So we have Office App, which is the next startup, and you can prepare everything here. So you should have a clicker and a microphone. Again, same thing, we'll have a three minute pitch and then we'll have time for discussion. Are you ready, Office App? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, so we're gonna count down. Three, two, one, go. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Thijs van der Burg and I'm the founder of Office App. Um, and since a few years, we've seen a lot of innovation in the commercial office space. Uh, we see sensors in office buildings, uh, visitor registration software, uh, tablets on meeting rooms, uh, and even 24-hour dry cleaning apps. But um, for an employee working in a building, you have to use four different apps or websites just to manage those four innovations. And with the pace of innovations we see right now, we know that in two years, every office building will have 10, 15, even 20 new different innovations in an office building. And that's exactly why we started Office App, the engagement app for professionals, where on the back end we integrate with all new products and integrate with systems that are already in an office, in an office building, such as facility management software system or building maintenance systems. Um, and on the front end, we make sure that employees can very easily use uh, our functionality to fo where we focus on user experience. So what can you do with Office App? You can easily book a room, a desk, or parking space in just a few seconds, uh, integrate it with uh, partners such as Exchange, TopDesk, Facilitor, um, Robin Powered, etc. Uh, live availability and occupancy inside an office building for meeting rooms, desk, parking spaces, with over eight sensor partners uh, at this point and growing, I think, after Exploreal, uh, we'll double it. Um, order local, we build a marketplace where we can add local retailers onto um, uh, one specific office building and make sure that employees can easily um, order food, dry cleaning, car wash, everything including payments and payment direct to, directly to the retailer <coughs> itself. Uh, we have a community where people can interact with each other, uh, personal messaging, even a lunch with me functionality which enables uh, people to uh, get in contact with each other, have lunch, and enabling more cohesion inside office buildings. Coupons, uh, we have uh, AI, artificial intelligence, implemented in reporting problem, which makes it very easy for employees to um, actually report a problem, and it's automatically sent to a facility management system. And last but not least, we measure uh, all, uh, and analyze all occupancy data and user data. And we combine those two to make sure that we offer the best solution and experience to people working in a building. <coughs> so the in integrations we focus on, parking management, local retail, keyless entry, facility management. Uh, one very, uh, we have over 200 buildings under contract. Uh, sing uh, corporate clients such as Ernst & Young, Dell, DSM, Rabobank, but also a lot of landlords and realtors work with us. Um, thank you. <laughs> Again, I would appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. Great presentation. Um, I think very vivid. Um, I was wondering, though, it looks like you have a lot of things, right? So, I mean, you talked about parking, coupons, occupancy. Um, food, um, lunch, a marketplace, AI. So it looks totally broad. So why don't you focus on one thing? And because it looks like all those things have a lot of potential. Or exactly. is there such something like a killer function in your 200 applications where everybody's using that and it's really popular? Uh, it's usually a combination of functionalities that work really well, and that's exactly the reason why we started Office App. If uh, it, it, it's always a hassle to use one app for dry cleaning or one app for booking a meeting room. We combine those together and it's up to the landlord or the corporate uh, to choose which functionalities they want and with what, what partner they want to, to, uh, to be integrated with. And I hear focus, focus, focus all the time, um, so I'm really interested to see what the jury has to say. Uh, just an addition, uh, when it comes to focus, our focus lies on the actual professional working in a building and making sure that their experience is as good as possible. And we connect to as much uh, partners as possible to have them focus on their, their very okay. uh, good product. Good. Yeah.
Questions from the jury, please. How is the business model working? Uh, we ask for a monthly fee per active user per month. A user. Per, u per professional, yeah. Um, I very much like the, the holistic approach. Do you have any feedback of um, landlords or the users as well? Yes, we have. Um, we see, we measure all the, the usage of the application and build based on those results. Um, and especially with corporate clients, we see that there's a very high adoption and engagement. Um, we, ha we even have an engagement manager uh, in-house uh, in that um, helps our clients to increase engagement on the application and in their buildings. Um, with corporate buildings, you can go up to 95% active views weekly um, for all employees working there. Uh, Multi-tenant, so for landlords, uh, it's much liar, uh, lower based on um, the fact that there is uh, um, uh, multiple buildings in one building and it's hard to reach everyone in a certain period of time. So usually that's between 30 and uh, about 60, 70 percent. Okay, question from, from my end again. Uh, I mean, yeah. I would love to use your service because I think this would be really useful and I use apps for everything. So is it the user that basically drives the organization saying we need this or do you talk to the facility manager? Or who makes that decision? Who's your, who's your customer? Our customer is the landlord or the real estate manager. Um, but in the case of, so as a, uh, we track all data and we see what people actually need and want. And based on that data, we advise our clients on what services or technology they should implement. Okay. More questions from the, um, from the jury or let's pick one maybe from the... No, let's have maybe, one from the jury. Maybe, maybe one more. Um, in which markets are you present? Uh, in the UK, the Netherlands, and we just started in Germany. Let's take a question from the audience. Um, now, who's the competition? And let me, um, so in general, who's the competition? And do you have a competition about all the different services you offer, like the flower service or the parking service, or who's your competition? Uh, the, the, the companies we partner with usually are in not our competition. Um, we make sure that we increase functionality of their businesses, and that's why they like working with us, because they see that it's very hard to increase your conversion and engagement onto one single uh, piece of functionality in, a, in an application. Um, and that's why they come to us to, to integrate with us. So, yeah. yeah. From the jury, anything? Anyone? Otherwise, we'll take one from public. Um, so, how many provide? So, you have 200 customers. So, in there, how many services do you have? And uh, how do, what does it cost for them? Uh, we uh, ask no commission on uh, sales through our platform, so mm -hmm. it is solely a way for us to increase engagement and community within an office building. Um, mm -hmm. We have added, I think, over 60 retailers, and what we do, we add local retailers. So we build a way to very easily add the local florist, dry cleaner, car wash service, um, and offer their products to everyone in the building very easily including direct payment inside the app. Okay, please don't forget to vote. We're going to close voting soon. So if you haven't voted that, please do so. Also, the jury uh, do cast your vote. Um, and I want to give you. a big round of applause to Office App. Thank you very much. <laughs> I hope you make it to Germany faster, because I'd love to use your solution. Thanks.